Well, it is a fairly common heart condition, but if ignored, it can end in stroke and heart failure. A local man says it happened to him and says he might not be alive if his watch had not alerted him. He shared his story with investigator Lewis Bolden. Lewis? And what a story it is. 44-year-old Jason Soche says he works out regularly and takes care of himself. In fact, he says that's why he bought a smart watch to monitor his exercise. But he says that watch ended up saving his life with Black Friday day approaching and people looking for gifts, this one could be a lifesaver. The very first thing I do every morning is put my watch on, and as soon as I did, it alerted me that I was in uh, AFib. Jason Soche says it was like any other morning, except the alert he got on his Apple Watch. I didn't know what it was. You had no idea. And I just ignored it. Soche says he went to work, but soon started to have symptoms that he couldn't ignore. And I was having trouble breathing. I walked to the mailbox and I was very faint. So I got back and I said, well, I think I need to go to the hospital. When Soche got to the emergency room, he says his heart rate was 160 beats per minute. A regular heart rate is between 60 to 100, according to medical professionals. He says he was admitted immediately. As soon as I got into the emergency room, the nurse said, you know, sir, you're an AFib. And they started getting the cardiac unit around me. It was very scary. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular heartbeat that can be catastrophic. More than 2.7 million Americans are living with the condition, according to the American Heart Association. Dr. Aurelio Duran is with Orlando Health. It's exceptionally common. You know, this is a public health issue. It's not just a cardiology issue. Dr. Duran says after age 50, one in four people will get AFib. The underlying big concern about atrial fibrillation is much more than you might feel poorly. The big concern is it's probably one of the biggest things that's associated with a, a stroke, which is a blood clot to the brain. The first time it happened to Soche, he was stabilized and released from the hospital. But exactly one week later, it happened again. I was sitting on my couch and I couldn't catch my breath and I started walking around and I noticed that my watch did say again that I was an AFib. This time he immediately drove himself to the hospital and again was immediately admitted. I didn't take any chances. If I hadn't done that, I may not be talking to you today. Some people can have AFib and not have any symptoms, according to Dr. Duran, which is why he says an annual physical is crucial. And there are many smartwatches on the market that can monitor your heart rate and alert you when there are irregularities. Dr. Duran says they can be useful tools. Different health care uh, uh, providers are now contemplating potentially covering these types of technologies, so they're going to be integrated in, in the concept of wellness uh, even more so than we see today. I would tell everybody that it, it doesn't have to be an Apple Watch, just some type of device that uh, monitors your heart um, because it saved my life. There are numerous products on the market at various price points that have the EKG function. Dr. Duran warns the devices don't always get it right, and sometimes they can have false readings. But, mm. he says, they're useful tools. Yeah. Saved his life. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And one thing that jumps out at you, that's a young guy. You yes. can tell he exercises. So what are the symptoms people should look for, Louis? Shortness of breath, which okay. I think a lot of people would dismiss. And then some mm -hmm. people don't have any symptoms, mm -hmm. which is frightening. So yeah. you might not even know you have it. Unless you have the watch. Exactly. Good stuff. <laughs> Louis Bolden, thank, thank you. you.